everybody, Lori here again. Today, you can look forward to two videos from me. I'm doing this one, of course, and then I'll be doing one more in a little bit. This one is another book haul. I know I just did one a couple of days ago, but I'm going to have one now, and then I'll probably have one later on next week. But yeah, so the first one I got in my hands. If you're new here, hi, Lori. And I hope you guys enjoy my channel. Okay. So this one is An Affair of Poison by Addie Thorley. It says, no one looks kindly on the killer of a king. Da, 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 dum. And it says, my laboratory reeks of death. Not of blood and flesh and decay, but the garlic, garlic, I guess that's how you say it, garlicky bite of arsenic, the musty essence of hemlock, or hemlock, and a sweet smelling orlander. Today I will kill it, man. And just look like this, and then like this, and then like this, which I like this, I like the color. This one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. No, I'm joking. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be fun. <laughs> we shall see. Hopefully it'll be good. There ain't nothing interesting to show there. It says, after un unwittingly helping her mother poison King Louis the 16th, I believe it is, 17-year-old alchemist Maribel Montevision, something like that, is forced to see her mother's shadow society society in a horrifying new light. They're not heroes of people, as they always claim to be, but murderers, murderers, herself included. Myra tries to ease her guilt by brewing healthful curatives, something like that, but her hunger toxics, tonics, I mean, and headache remedies cannot, cannot right past wrongs or even save the disinter, something like that, her mother vows to purge. It says, Royal Bastard. I know that's a bad word, but I hope I didn't show you guys this already. If I did, oh well, you guys will just hear about it again. But anyways, Royal Bastard Joe's, Josie, Joe's, something like that, Jose maybe, the bourbon is more kitchen boy than Fliss de France, something like that. But when the Shadow Society assassinates the Sun King and half of the royal court, he must become the prince he was never meant to be in order to save his injured sister and the prudent, the band, the, the fan, the, the Han, something like that, forced to hide in the sewers beneath the city, Jose, or Jose, how you say his name, hopes of reclaiming Paris seems impossible until his past collided with Maribel. Says she's a deadly, deadly poisoner. He's a bastard prince. They are sworn enemies, yet they form a tenuous path to unite the commoners and former nobility against the shadow society. But can a rebellion build on mistrust secede? Definitely looks like it's going to be good. I love the cover. It's so pretty. I'm going to do the one I got from Walmart last because it's so pretty. It's like the inside and stuff. Okay, let's do this one next. I'm not exactly sure what this is. So, let's do this one next. If I can get it open, we'll do this one next. Oh, okay, I know what it is. Just can't get it out. Let's see if I can get it, you guys. Without ruining the book. It is Truth Witch. By Suzanne Dinner. Din Dinnard, how do you say her name? Her last name. A Witchland novels. And I think this is from the same series. We shall see in a minute. An instant new classic, a fierce and vibrant world. Richly drawn characters and dazzling intrigue do not miss out. And it's blur. That's a blurb. How do we say it? By Sarah J. Maas. 
Oh, there's a, like a little receipt. <laughs> I don't know like what this. Like, oh, okay. It's a little beat up right there, but that's okay. It's a little dented. But I'm not going to complain about a little dent. It's like right there in the thing. It's a dent. I'm not going to tell you guys what's about, what this is about because it's a very popular book. I'll just read this point, part. On a continent ruled by three empi empires, some are born with a witchery and magical skill that sets them apart from others. So, yeah. So I'm really excited. Like, I think I read this before, like an ebook. But it's been a while, so I don't remember if I liked it or not. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a map, which you guys know I'm a sucker for. So yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's open up this one next. If I can find how you open this, baby. You're going to open it. See if I can open it. Usually I do this off thing and then I just show you the book. Yep, that's what they are. And I'm not sure which one's which. I think, what is it? I, the, oh, okay, I know which one it is. Okay. But anyways, this smells like, yeah, a little bit. I'm just finding stuff all in here. Oh, it got a little, got a little damaged. But this is a, what is it called, you know, like where you get the cheaper ones from, through book depository, you know, where they, um, where it's a, it could be scratch and dent, so you get what you pay for, and I paid for a scratch and dent, so what can you do? But anyways, Win Witch, I think is the second one, right? Yeah. Bread. Of course, all this is with this. So, see if there's anything interesting that you guys might want to see. I think there's another map. If I like this book, this series, and I'll get a better copy, but I'm not gonna cry right now. It was only like two bucks, like three bucks or something like that, because it was when that sale was going on. But there's the map. But I've just been wanting to, like, read the series because I heard so many people talk about the series and loving it. So I'm hoping I do. But like I said, it's ruined a little bit. But like I said, it ain't going to hurt anything. Like I said, if I like it, then I will, I will, um, get a better copy of it. But I got another map. And you guys know me with maps. And this one has, like some pictures in it and it's got like a note at the beginning but yeah there's some pictures this is really neat like the pictures nothing else I would like to get a new copy just for the pictures but yeah like right here is messed up but like I said you get what you paid for and I paid for a scratch and dent copy so but yeah they got like different pitch like letter things and pictures and worlds let me see see Look at another picture there oh i like this one yeah but there's like little pictures throughout that's neat but now i got that the first th two and a half and then if i bite these two and a half then i will get the last one which is what truth which one is the last one? I forget what the last one's called. Okay. We got this and then the one that I got over there that I got from Walmart today. I want to show that last, like I said, because, oh my God, is it gorgeous. <laughs> We're getting there, you guys. Okay, now we got two books here. Okay, first we will show the mid-grade one. I got me another one for middle-grade March. Yay! I might even read this one today. Cause it's so it sounds so cute, but it's called The Train to Impossible Places by P. G. Bell. Look at this. Look how cute. Look on the back. So cute. And the end pages are gorgeous because it's green, my favorite color. And it's blue. And then we got that. 
bring it closer for you guys to see. I like this already. It's because of the picture, because I love pictures. Ooh, this is neat. I'll show you guys. It's got the trains. Look at that. See if I can get my fingers to work. I got a lot of like illustrations today. Yeah, it's got the trains, okay, and then it goes to that. And then it's got little ones on there, look. Can you see how cute? I don't know if there's any throughout. Yep, it's like, oh, yep. I got more pictures, yay! A lot of my books have pictures or designs in it. I'm really excited. But this one says, a train that travels through impossible places, a boy trapped in a snow globe, and a girl who's about to go on the adventure of a lifetime. It says, the impossible postal express is, it, is no ordinary train. It's a toll operated delivery service that runs everywhere from ocean bottom shipwrecks to Trollville to space. But when this impossible train comes whirring through her living room, Susie world, Susie's world turns upside down. She has no choice but to sneak on board if she ever wants to make sense of her world again. Suddenly she finds herself deputied, deputied to the postmaster aboard the train and faced with her first delivery to the evil lady Kerpuscula, something like that, of the Obsidian Tower. Then the package itself begs Susie not to deliver him. A talking snow globe claiming to be a prince, I mean claiming to be Prince Fred Frederick, has information Ker Pascula, some of that could use to take over the entire union of impossible places. But when the protecting, I mean, when, but, but when protecting, but when protecting Frederick and keeping his secrets means putting her friends in danger, Susie has to make a difficult choice with the fate of the entire union at stake. This sounds like it's going to be good. I like um like little grade books, some middle mid grade books sometimes. Chapter one's called Lightning in the Living Room. It started with a flash. Okay. We're getting there, you guys. Two more. This one I'm really, really excited about. We set the dark on fire by Ta Taylor. Taylor, maybe? Taylor? I don't know how you say her name. I'm sorry. I'm really butchering your name, lady. K. Maja. It says, Lit Rebellion Burn. We set the dark on fire. Isn't this, like, gorgeous, you guys? It's so pretty. And then it shows that on the back. That's fine. Oh, my God. I'm in love with this. So pretty. Oh, I like the, the pages in this. It's just normal here. I love the color. I love when the colors are bright like that. It's so pretty. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I love when they do this, when they put like the thing here again. Oh my god, I can't wait. I have so many books that I want to read so bad. Only thing that could have made this better is if there would have been a map. But let's see, there's... 364 pages. I'm not even, can't even remember what this one's about, but I know it's supposed to be good. It says, at the Medio, something like that, Medio School for Girls, Dis distinguishing young women are trained for one or two roles in their polarized society. Depending on their specialization, a graduate one day run her husband's household or raise his children. But both wives are promised a life of comfort and luxury, far from the frequent political uprisings of the lower class. Daniela Vegas or Vargas is the school's top student, but her bright future depends upon no one discovering her darkest secret that her prodigy prodigy is a lie. Her parents Sacrifice everything to obtain forged identifi identification papers on Danny, 
I mean, so Danny could rise above her station. Now that her mu marriage to an important politician, p politician of the sun is fast approaching, she must keep the truth hidden or be sent back to the fringes of society where phantom, phantom and poverty rules supreme. It says, on her graduation night, Danny seems to be in the clear. Despite the surprise that surprises that unfold, but nothing prepares her for the difficult choices she must make, especially when she is asked to spy for a resident group, a um, resistance group desperately fighting to bring equality to Mende Mendeo. When Danny gave up everything, I mean, will Danny give up everything she strive for in the pursuit of a free Mende Mendeo? Or Mandoa, Mando, something like that, and a chance at a forbidden love. The first in a sizzling fantasy duology from debut author Tyler, or Tyler K. Maji. We set the dark on fire as a boldly feminist look at freedom, family, and fighting the power. Sounds really awesome. And I'm glad it's only a duology if it had to be more than one book. Let's see how many pages we got. And then we got one more to show you. There's 364 pages. So it looks really good. One more. The Disasters or something like that. By PC Cast and Kristen Cass. It says, the wind can change everything. Now this is gorgeous, you guys. I got to show you in a minute. But look at this cover. Isn't the cover like gorgeous itself? And then we got the sign. I'll show you the prettiness in a minute. And then we got this. Look at this in pages. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Like, isn't that insanely gorgeous? Look at that. And then when you take the dust jacket off, because I want to take it off, <laughs> you don't have to take it off, but but when you take it off and you turn it over, you got the main guy. Look at this. Like, oh my gosh. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so in love with this book. Like, so in love. I gotta show you this. Let me get to where. Oh, look at. Look at, look at, look at. And it's throughout. It's not only there, you guys. It's throughout the whole book. Oh my gosh. I'm like so in love. Look. Get pictures. Illustration, pictures, whatever you want to call them. Oh my gosh, and it's all throughout the book. Like, oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. Like, I like I just knew I wanted to read it because uh, I heard about it a little bit, but I didn't know, like, I didn't, never saw the actual book itself. Just heard about it, but look at this. Like, there's a lot of these in here. This is, like, gorgeous. Like, I am so in love with this book. I mean, this is just, like, amazing. Like, look at this. I'll show you one more. I don't want to show too much in case you want to get it yourself. <laughs> and want to see all the illustrations. But, oh my gosh, I am so in love, you guys, with this book. Like, it's just so pretty. But we're going to keep that off while I... Read it to you. What it's about. And I've never read a book by them. Are they sister and mother? I don't know. Or mother and daughter? But anyways. PC Cast and Christina Cast. Okay. Right. It says. Okay. The adopted daughter of a gifted scientist, Forster Sir Stewart, doesn't live a normal life. Not that she wants to. But controlling cloud form formation and seeing earwaves aren't things most 18-year-olds can do. Small town star quarterback and conditioner, how do you say that word, dreamy boy, next door Tate Nighthawk Taylor has never thought much about his extra abilities. Let me see where I say. Sure, his night vision comes in handy dur during games, but who wouldn't want this, I mean, that extra edge? From the moment Forster and Tate collide, their world spiral in a deadly 
tornado forces them to work together, fully awakening their not-so-natural ability, the power to control air. As, as they each deal with the tragic loss of loved ones, they're caught by another devastating blow. They are the first in a group of teens gen genetically manipulated before birth to bond with the elements, and worse, they are being hunted. Now Forster and Tate must fight to control their abilities as they learn of their past, how they came to be, who's following them, and what tomorrow will bring. More disastrous? Disasters? How do you say that word? But Oh my gosh, you guys, this sounds like amazing. Like, I am so excited. Like, I want to read it now. <laughs> you guys know me. My TBR, is all, my TBR always changes because I get new books all the time. So I might be reading this, like, soon. Very, very soon. Like, I've read the first two pages, and I'm already, like, really interested. But I'm in love, you guys. I'm all shook up. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But that is my big-ass book haul again. I'm so excited to tr to start the, um, what is it called? Blood Tooth Witch, Wind Witch, Sight Witch, and Blood. This is the last one, Blood Witch. I will be getting that soon. Um, I think that is it. <laughs> I know, I know. You guys are probably getting tired of all these book hauls that I'm doing. Sorry, my eye itches. But, yes. But I'm going to be back in a little while, and I'm going to do my February wrap-up. I just got to get the books together and see what was, what stars, how many of each stars I gave, and how many pages, where I can all, all add all the pages together. And then I'll be back in a little while to do this, that video. But yes, let me know what book you really want to get to this month. Like you really, really want to read. And let me know also what book are you most excited about for the year. It can be later in the year, now. You know, did your favorite, did the book you were most anticipating come out already? And how did you like it? Because, oh my gosh, you guys know me. I'm a big Scythe fan. So, of course, the book that I'm most excited about is The Toll. And you guys see that? I got a thing from Amazon today saying that Tomi Ammon, how do you say her name? The one that did Children of Blood and Bone? It got pushed back until December, you guys. December. Now we don't get the book until December. Like, it's supposed to be out, I think, in March or April 1st. And then they said May or June. And now it's December. I guess maybe she just wasn't satisfied with the book or something happened i don't know but oh now we gotta wait until the end of the year but you know as long as it's because you know she wants to make it better you know i'm fine i mean look we have to wait until september for my the toll by neil susterman so yeah i guess you gotta wait for good things to come you know so yeah so, those are my two that I'm, even though um, I wasn't a huge um, Children of Blood and Bone fan like a lot of people, I did like it. I gave it like 4, 4.25. Just wasn't a 5 star for me. But I'm super excited to read the next one. I was so looking forward to it this summer, but what can you do, right? But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go because this is getting to be a long, a long video. And I wanted to try to keep it under 30 minutes. And I don't seem to be able to do it. But I'm going to let you guys go now. Thanks for my new subscribers. I love you guys for subscribing. I love you all, everybody. Yes. So, let me know. Like I said, the questions I asked. Oh, also, are you participating in the Slayathon? Where you can watch Buffy? That Book of Bulls and... Well, she's the main host, but... Like, Common Spence is doing it and everything. That starts today. Let me know. Let me know if you guys are participating also in any other readathons. Because I'm participating in 50 million. He's <laughs> like, always. But yes, I'm going to let you guys go. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell icon. So you'll know whenever a video of mine is up.
loaded and let me know of the books I showed you guys. Which one do you think I should prioritize? Prioritize? Yeah. Which one should I pick first? Which one should I pick second? Which one should I pick third? And which one should I pick fourth, right? One, two, three, four, five. I think five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. So which one should I read first, second, third, fourth, and fifth? Because I'm saying fifth because we got truth witches, which... And the other ones, but we don't count the other ones because we got to read Truth Witch first. We got the Poison one. We got the Train to Impossible Places. We set we set the dark on fire and die za the, the disasters are how we say it. So yeah, let me know how I should prioritize. I love you guys all, and I will be back in a few minutes with another video. Mm -hmm. Mwah! Love you guys!